Hi, right, we back. Um, gonna do another how to create the easy algo video because those videos are doing really, really good. And the easy algo guys basically forced me to take those other videos down in, in exchange for giving me a referral link and creating a partnership where I would actually promote them. And I don't mind them. My first video bashed them, but the rest of them were just kind of like, hey, buy it if you want to, uh, but you can create it for free. Uh, with trading view indicators and so here's how you do it here's how you create it uh, basically it starts with a super trend okay I'm just gonna recreate this from scratch all right so you got your blank your blank chart okay you don't need my first deal is I like to get rid of these vertical lines so you click this little box here appearance get rid of the vert vertical lines and the horizontal lines you can have those in there if you want but I like a nice clean black background just makes everything so much clear. Okay, uh, then you got to go over here. You know, mess with your candle colors. There's your borders, your body, your wicks. Um, I kind of just kind of keep them all the same. I don't want. I like things to look kind of flat and um, clean. Essentially, I don't know what flat means, but you know, I don't like things to like, kind of stick out. Uh, I like to be a nice drawing. But okay, next is you got to go and add super trend. My favorite one is by this Kivonk. Just type in super Kivonk that add that in there uh, indicator time frame same as chart change this to 14 uh, you want this off the close I believe and then you want to un uncheck that and you can have uh, this setup however you want to as well I, I turn off the uptrend highlighter and the downtrend highlighter uh, but then you've got your buy and your sell all right so uh, there's your basic buy and sell signal. Now you can change this ATR, which whatever works best for you. You know, if you have a a, a bigger number here, your buy signals are going to be a little bit smoother. Uh, your period as well, looking back 14 bars. So you know you can change that to 50 if you want to. You know, and your buy signals are going to be even smoother. So you can have something like, you know, here. We see we don't get the buy signal here for uh, for a long time. Let's see how it worked on ES. So. Uh, you know, like I said, the the bigger and longer the trend that you have there is going to be, you know, how long you're going to stay in the stay in the trade. So uh, <laughs> this setting worked really well for the most recent run, but uh, there you go. So you don't really you got to mess with that however you want to. Uh, the best settings are going to be, you know, whatever works for that ticker. So a uh, typical 14.2 uh, works pretty good for nice slower you know, but easier trades, more frequent. Uh, so there you go. So that that'll set up super trend. Then you need to add in some sort of cloud, like moving average. So I like Ripster, Ripster's cloud system. Uh, it works really well, and uh, it's nice color coded. All the different EMA bands, that kind of stuff. You don't really even need to do anything here. You can. I don't even know if these alerts show up in here, so you can mess with that. But uh, here's all the colorings, and here's the short EMA, long, short, long. So you can mess with that as well. You can also put this as the close. I don't know why you would have it in the middle, but all right. With it, and if you're using Heiken Ashi, always want to have things, in my opinion, you always want to have things on the close because the close, the close or the high or low, but mainly the close. The close is all that matters with the Heiken Ashi, in my opinion. Some other people might differ there, but if you're Heiken Ashi uh, aficionado. Uh, the next thing you need is type in JR. Come up with these Bollinger Band heat bands. And you can mess with these settings however you want to as well, but um, you can use EMA basis. Uh, since your clouds are EMA, I would just use the EMA basis as well to keep it consistent. And so then you've got your settings. These are mine. Um, and what I did is I just went through and colored everything gray. So from upper band, I unchecked basis, upper band to lower, uncheck. You just basically color it all gray, uncheck the breakouts, essentially, because, uh, you know, just clutters up the screen. You're not taking these signals anyways. So, uh, and you can leave them there if you like, but yeah, take those out and then also color all of these, just some kind of gray, the upper bands fill. So that way you just get this nice, clean, uh, gray Bollinger Band that shows up. So save that. And then type in Lux. You want to find this triangular momentum oscillator. This is going to be your base uh, squeeze momentum. And you're going to come in here and you know change this to whatever you like. I like something around like a 10, maybe even like a 9. Um, just 
is a little bit more reactive down here. And so then there's your squeeze momentum and boom. Okay, so now what people like the most about the easy algo is that it has the script built in for the price targets. And people think the price targets are, you know, having that set up automatically is super important. But what I've found is extremely, it is extremely uh, distracting because a lot of times you just miss the trade or you won't take a trade because it's already in a trade and it's at price target one, but you see another trade. Uh, but if you take it, then you know, you're basically taking it way late versus the first signal. I don't know. So I don't like it being in there because then I don't like sitting around. If I see a trade that I like, waiting for the system basically to tell me a trade. So if, if that's you, if you want to just sit around and wait for the system to give you a trade, that's fine. And how you would do that is you basically, let's just go to find this guy here, recent buy signal. Okay. What the alg what the script does with easy algo or need most most algos out there are going to do this is they basically set your buy. So once this buy goes off, so it goes off on the close. All right, so you see, I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this because you really don't need a lot of it, okay? Because your buy signal is literally just triggered off the super trend. Once you get that buy signal there, that's when it's gonna give you that entry. That's where you'll see the gray entry point, okay? And then what it's gonna do is gonna calculate, based on your settings, your risk to reward. So say your risk to reward is just like a like a one or something like that okay so then you've got like there's your there's your risk this would be your stop and so you can do this on your own based on your own your own risk to reward your own criteria and all you got to do is just put in a few lines all right and so now we have our our risk defined all right so take a take a channel parallel channel it's found in here take that and then all you gotta do is just basically grab the area between your entry and your stop. And this is price target one right here. And you can just, you can do this however you want to, but uh, this is what's nice about the script is it's just gonna do this for you automatically. But this is all it's doing. All right, and then there's price target one, two, and three. People think somehow that's what that price target does is it basically is just defining the, the entire trade for you and you know, managing the risk, obviously allowing you to be taking profits and that kind of stuff. So you can see here, this was a pretty solid signal. If you take the entry here, you know, you, you sit in some drawdown a little bit, but your stop is way down here. So you're fine um, on that one. And, you know, you're taking the signal uh, as EMAs are kind of crossing. You can, you can wait. Okay, I got my buy. Uh, you can wait till you know the EMA start to cross. There's your buy, just to kind of uh, allow your uh, allow the trade to have a little bit better timing, a little bit more efficiency. And then you're taking profits here. Why? Because uh, that's your target one. So your risk to reward. At least you're taking profits uh, and de-risking the trade as it goes higher. So uh, that's the first target. And then you took some profits. And now you're waiting for the second target to be hit to take another. You can take a fourth. You can take a, a third and be completely out of the trade here. I like to take a fourth um, every every price target and then I'll let the last fourth run. And then as this moves up, so as you hit your first price target, then you want to move your stop to break even. So that would be basically how you would trade this system here. And this is basically the easy algo like ghetto version. And uh, hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, if you do like it, I think you guys do because these videos really popped off for me, these easy algo ones. So uh, doing them again. Hope you like this. Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. Hope you made some money this last week. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.